All right, today is World Kindness Day, and one local organization is encouraging the community to spread kindness. Joining us this morning is the founder and director of Epic Outreach, Jesse Miller. Thank you for coming on. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. So excited to be here. World Kindness Day. Yes. Is it as simple as it sounds? I think it is. I think kindness is simple. It's just being nice, right? Okay. Being nice to each other, to ourselves, animals, the planet as a whole. So what's one thing that you do typically? an act of kindness that you like to do? Well, we, I'm actually, Epic Outreach is a uh, nonprofit uh, farm sanctuary in Jacksonville. And okay. so we practice kindness every day. I mean, we rescue animals um, almost, uh, it feels like lately, daily, weekly, monthly, uh, all year long. And so we're also always putting out kindness messages to encourage people to be kind. Okay. Um, our mission is rooted in inspiring kindness because um, we want to create a more compassionate community of people who are kind to themselves, each other, animals, the planet. Um, and you can do that simply by, you know, coming to the sanctuary and spending time with the animals. All of our animals are rescued. Uh, you can go down to your local animal shelter and adopt a dog, take a dog. Always for a, a walk. good option. Always a good option. Yes. Absolutely. Um, or simply smiling, like us. We're sitting here talking and smiling at each other and. It just spreads um, kindness to ourselves, right? We always feel better when we are being nice to each other um, or other people that, even if people we don't know. You can open a door. Um, you know, if you're going to the store, open the door for the person behind you. Yeah. Um, say thank you. I mean, that's a simple act of kindness, right? Just I being, think this nice. probably goes a long way in today's world, too, like remembering a day like <laughs> this and actively participating in it. Right, and it's not just about, I mean, even though we celebrate World Kindness Day, um, really we should be kind every day, right? 100%. And so it's so easy and it's free and it's simple, right? It's just doing, even when you're driving in your car, when I was driving here for this interview, I was just smiling and you know, people passing you, you always look at people in the car next to you, you know, maybe. Yeah. Um, and if you're smiling, you just spread, spread that, you know, generosity of joy and love um, to the person next to you. Maybe if they're having a bad day, they see you smile and it makes them feel like they want to smile. Absolutely. So if I was to come to Epic, how do I get involved? What would that day look like for me? Petting the pigs, doing all the fun stuff. Yeah, I mean, we have horses, pigs, um, chickens, dogs, cats, uh, even a bunny. And uh, you can come out there. We are, you know, RSVP, so you have to make an appointment to come visit. Uh, but we do have, uh, on Saturdays, we have days where you can come visit and take a tour. You get to meet the animals. You get to hear their stories. That's how we spread kindness, is by telling the stories of the rescued animals. And it plants that seed of kindness and compassion for that animal. And that always ripples out to you. Um, we also do, we write children's books. I was going to ask books. about this. Yeah, what do we, we write, have here? We write children's books about the animals, so it tells the animal's story um, in a children's book. And adults can read the books, too, and take that message. Um, some of the messages are about adoption. Some of them are about, you know, a pig. Oliver is actually a pig at the farm. So this and is a real pig here. He is a real pig at the farm, and uh, he grew to be too big. Somebody got him when he was a baby. He was really <laughs> little and cute, and then he grew too big. Uh, and so they needed to rehome him, so he ended up at the sanctuary, and now he gets to live his life out there, and we get to talk to people about, you know, if you are considering adopting a pig, which it's a thing, uh, you can come to the sanctuary, we can talk to you, give you great tips on how to be a good pet pig parent. Uh, sure, yeah. and we, also we have would pigs need that in, probably direction. <laughs> yeah, and we also have pigs available for adoption, so people can come out there. Even though you can go down to the shelter and adopt a dog or a cat, you can also come to our sanctuary and adopt a pig. Awesome. In this brief uh, moment we have here, what do you see in that interaction when people are petting the pigs, getting that? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, people just melt, like life melts away. So if you're having a stressful day or something's going stressful in your life and you come out there and a pig rolls over, they love belly rubs and you just get to <laughs> rub, you know, a pig that wants its belly rubbed. It just, you forget about everything. You, your phone isn't out. You're not on social media. You're sitting there hanging out with an animal in nature because you're surrounded by, you know, a farm. You're outdoors in fresh air, and it's just a beautiful engagement of that human-animal connection, which animals are amazing creatures to help us all connect back to that kindness and love and compassion. Got it. Well, thank you. We're going to put some information online about Epic. Uh, thanks thank for you. joining us. No, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And Absolutely. be kind, everybody, to yourselves today. Be kind.